bought this house, it was 100 years old. Now, when it was originally built, it was built to be a place of beauty, to be a place where a family could move in and, and live life together, a place where they could invite their friends and, and experience real community. But by the time we moved in 100 years later, it was a totally different story. The years had taken their toll and, and there was disrepair and decay. There was even pieces that were rotten. And so we began the process of remodeling and, and restoring things and trying to renew things the way they were originally intended to be. Jesus is in that same process. You know, creation has been tainted and destroyed in so many ways by our sin. But he's in the process of renewing creation and restoring it to what it was originally intended to be. And when he restores all things to himself, when his kingdom is fulfilled, we'll be reunited with our Father in heaven who adopted us. And on that day, there's not going to be any more sin. There won't be any more death. And as a result, there will be no more orphans. Revelation chapter 21 says, And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Now the dwelling of God is with men, and he will live with them. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them and be their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain. For the old order of things has passed away. He who is seated on the throne said, I am making everything new.